together. Nine and ten. Those now you're in the two loss team section. You got Stanford. Nine and two. You got Michigan. And uh, nine and two. And that's spots nine and ten. So I, you don't need those teams in there. But any one of these top eight. If you look at those top eight. You think that maybe they could win a national championship? They could win three Ohio games. Do you think Ohio State could win a national title? <laughs> well, not the way they're getting right now. I wouldn't say Ohio State, Notre Dame at this point. I, I wouldn't think either way. Baylor, Baylor I mean, it's, it's different than uh, Notre Dame or Ohio State. I think Baylor's better than both those teams. I, I mean, I wouldn't pick Baylor to win a national title, but I think that they could possibly maybe win one game. And, and, and I'm talking about any given year. I, I'm with you for this season. Th those teams don't necessarily need to play for it. But I, I think eight, eight makes it to where on any given year, You've got you've got teams that deserve to be there See, potentially. Th but that that's what I think makes it exciting though, because the debate the five and six teams last year. Right. Now it's not fun for that fan base for that team. <laughs> no, but it's not. You know what? If we're talking about eight teams, nine and ten, we're all saying, oh, I mean, you know, they're they're a ten and two team. They don't deserve to be in. The five and six team who went eleven and one, maybe didn't play a great non-conference schedule. That's where the argument is. That that's what kind of what makes it great to me sure. is you know maybe some teams do get left out of it. Well, it's not fair to me. And the legitimate fear always has to be is it, if it goes to eight, when does it stop? Because there, there right. will be a point in time. Let's let's be real about it. If they go to eight, at some point they will expand to sixteen. Well, if you uh, move to eight, do teams feel like you know what? Eight teams are getting in. We don't have to play such a great non-conference schedule anymore. We don't have to schedule up and play all these Power Five teams. We can play a, a couple cupcakes here and there and, and get by with it because there's eight teams. We can go 11 and one and certainly get in. Whereas the four-team playoff, you, you see the committee, they yeah, value, they yeah. value streak the schedule. Four teams, do they say? Do we get better non conference? Well, and that, that's that's the thing with Baylor is that that's why Eric Rose taking the stand of he's not going to schedule any Baylor non conference. If he goes eight, he's going to keep the same formula. Yeah. Once again, Baylor playing a week.